In, in WSITC we train animal handlers to catch dogs with um, these catching nets. Uh, that's very effective and very safe and very humane way of catching dogs and transporting them. It's also very safe for the dog catchers and that is a big and I mean it's a very important thing for us, the safety of our staff. So uh, we start the practice when we have uh, participants here to learn that. Our senior dog catchers, they will start th with this game. So you're supposed to catch the, um, the football and, uh, and after, after practicing doing this type of dry practice here, then they'll go to the field and, and, and see how it works with the actual dogs. That dog had rabies, then what to do? <laughs> We use nets for catching dogs because that is very safe and very humane. It's very, it doesn't hurt the dogs, okay? It's very safe also for the catcher and that is our big concern because we don't want our valuable animal handlers being bitten every day. We also need a catching method that with that we can actually catch enough dogs every day to be able to make a difference in an area where we are working, to be able to vaccinate up to 70% of dogs against rabies in the areas where we are working. So for that, we also need to be a bit fast in our catching. And that's why we don't necessarily have the time to, to keep taming every dog separately. But this, this method is not harmful for the dogs it doesn't they don't suffer they don't it's not painful they will be immediately you know released from the net as they are in the vehicle and as we can see with this guy who's now in the in the in the, uh, in the truck he's just fine he will be operated and vaccinated and he'll be released back to this spot you know after a couple of days